Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Xenon here, welcome back to another Reddit video, and today we will be looking at r slash choosing beggars once again due to popular demand. These are people who think they can beg and get whatever they want from it, but obviously that's not how things work. Let's get started. This first post is a picture titled Beg Packers, tourists who travel with the intent to beg for money from the locals to fund further travel. Peep the sign, too. And as you can see, the sign says, they say beggars are not choosers, but I beg to differ. So literally, choosing beggars out in a foreign country trying to beg for money to continue their travels, when a lot of these same places also have a lot of people who are genuinely in poverty and need the money. People, if you're out traveling, don't give your money to these fools. On to the next one. MacBook Pro, 13 inch, $3,900. Am I missing something? You can buy these new for 2600 on Apple Store. Probably can, but I need the money as I'm paying for this laptop. I need to pay 3800 for it. Hmm, okay, but why would I pay 1200 more for a used laptop? Because if you really do want it, you will pay for it. And I haven't used it a lot, just four times. That's it. I don't really use it as I have a computer now. Oh, how the tables have turned. Now we have the sellers being choosing beggars. Trying to sell her things above market value and seeing that they really need the money because they made a terrible decision in buying a laptop for $3,800 when he can get it for over $1,000 less. All right, Choosing Beggars, take some notes for this next one. We offer three types of service, good, fast, and cheap. You can choose any two. Good service fast won't be cheap. Good service cheap won't be fast. Fast service cheap won't be good. Yet Choosing Beggars think they'll have all three. That's not how the world works. This next one is titled, Pensioner has her life saved by strangers, gets angry when they don't get her shopping for her. Devon Live News article says, Sweary burger-eating pensioner demands heroes who rescued her from the river go back in for her shopping. She accidentally accelerated while picking up some rubbish from the ground. And of course, classic Redditors saying, throw her back in the river. This next post is titled, I'm taking organic chemistry as a summer course and have studied it hard and done well. The guy that sits beside me has done pretty poorly and just sent me this. All the exams, can you send me your answers to all of them so I can look over and see why you answered them the way you did on the explanations too? And if they're wrong, can you correct me and tell me like why on each one pretty please? I'd really appreciate it. Well, you should take up on the offer only if he's going to pay you though. If not, then no deal. Moving on. This next one says, I need a DJ. I need a DJ for 4th of July to a private party in a penthouse. I provide food and drinks for free. Great networking opportunity. While enjoying the sunset and fireworks from one of the most exclusive views in Little Rock. Feel free to bring a plus one. Anyone interested or know someone? And someone commented, lol, you should probably use Pandora. Ah uh, yes, the exposure bucks have now gone more business-like, trying to frame the exposure, which has now become a massive red flag ever since the creation of r slash choosing beggars, and is now being framed as networking, a more business-like term that has more legitimacy, but it still doesn't change the fact that you're trying to get free work. This next one is a comment that says, I belongs to very poor family, but I have dreamed to own an iPhone 10s Max Gold 512 gigabyte, but I can't afford it. Please give me an iPhone 10s Max 512 gigabyte gold and help me to fulfill my dream. And a lot of crying emojis. Please help me, please. More crying emojis. Praying emoji. Please reply me or DM me. And then for good measure, one more crying emoji right at the end. If this is your lifelong dream, then you live a pretty sad life. Everyone who works in customer service should legally be allowed to fight one customer a year. And this review says, As a last minute resort, me and my sister had went to the subway to get 63 foot long subs for my grandson's confirmation party and had to wait for over an hour for the subs. Ridiculously long wait and the lady who took my order seemed really annoyed at me. And so with that they gave them one star. Because they didn't make your ridiculous order fast enough. If you're making an order that large, you have to order in advance. You can't just walk in and pressure a subway worker to make 63 foot long subs. What the hell? Hello, how are you doing today? I was wondering if you would possibly want to be in an esports organization and be a designer for us. You accepted the request. Depends on the pay. Is it salary or hourly? Never mind. Have a great day. Just looking for someone who was wanting to be in an organization help design for us, not someone money-driven. Lol, I'll tell me landlord I want to live in his house and tell him that he's money-driven when he asks for rent. There's a difference, buddy. One makes designs that doesn't take much time at all. The other is a house, a shelter, and a place to live. Accrington Stanley says there's a difference, buddy. One is reality and the other isn't. 
I don't know what it is about people who think that designs take like two minutes and then you can just get them for free because of that, but the exposure bucks are not going to pay the bills. Moving on. This next one's titled, This Little Crap Was Testing Me. Xbox One with Kinect, negotiable. Will you take $20? No can do. Please. I'm selling it for my son. He said he'd take $130. So I'm a kid. Roast for my birthday present. He said no. Happy birthday, though. Tell him to F off. Will do. Have a great day. Now how about you F off? Moving on. Hold on tight, this next one's a long one. Megablocks table car and animals for five pounds. Is this available? Yes. Could I collect later, please? No problem, my address is blank. Thanks, would you accept any lower? You can have it for free if you collect ASAP, as I just want it gone. Awesome, thanks. Can I collect in 30? Sure, see you then. And then at 12.21, hi, there's some stickers on the blocks and I can't get them off. Yeah, I did state that in the description that there are some stickers on the odd block and the conditioning to use, but it doesn't affect the use at all. But now I'm going to have to buy some sticker removal spray, which will cost me money. Why did you have to put the sticker blocks in there? I'm sorry, but you didn't pay for this, and you could just throw away the one or two blocks that have a sticker. Do you not read the description? I did, but I thought it wouldn't be this annoying to get off. It won't budge with water. Could you not give me some sticker removal spray or some money towards it? I don't have much money, and this is supposed to look new condition for a birthday gift. You brought something on Marketplace that lit clearly stated used condition. It wouldn't look brand new. If you wanted a brand new condition, then you should have brought it new. I'm sorry you isn't like the one sticker that is on a couple blocks, but you can remove it. Or you could throw two blocks away. There are enough blocks there that you won't notice two gone. I didn't charge you any money and you're complaining about a couple stickers? I still drove and collected straight away. I paid with my time, but if you are not going to help me, then fine, you do you. But I'll remember this, and I will not recommend you as a seller. Leave me alone. Hmm, first people try to pay in exposure, then they're paying in networking, now they're paying in time? Do any of these things pay the bills? No, they don't. These choosing beggars just don't understand this. Moving on. Guys, base yourselves again. This one is a story, and it's titled Crazy Women. Once her baby bassinet back for free, sent her husband in uniform over to take it for me. This was a few years ago, but I had to share. I brought a brand new bassinet for my newborn from a woman who never used it or even put it together out of the box. She claimed the box had been in her closet for over a year. She was very sweet, even dropped it off for me as I was very pregnant. A month and a half later, I get a message from her asking for it back. I was flabbergasted. I said, I'm sorry, I paid for it. My son used it daily. I can't just give it back unless it means that much for you, to you, and then you can pay me the price I paid, but it is very used. She blew a gasket telling me she would not be paying a dime for something that's already hers. I kept my cool and reminded her I paid for it, but she insisted the price I paid for such a lavish item, aka brand name, was basically giving it away for free and therefore she had the right to take it back. She continued to argue and I kept giving her examples like if this grocery store asked for your items back and refused refund, etc, etc, but it didn't get through to her. I stopped responding, but her messages were flying in left and right about how she just found out that she's pregnant again. This bassinet could become a family heirloom in their family, brought up a miscarriage years ago, which was totally unrelated. Next thing I know, she messaged me saying she still had my address and her husband was on the way to remove it from my home. An hour later, there was frantic banging on my door. I didn't answer, then I hear police department. I quickly jumped to open it. The man was in military uniform, not police. He said my wife sent me to retrieve her bassinet. I instantly just started laughing and saying how ridiculous this was and that I paid for it, everything I said to her, and that I couldn't believe he's taking time from work to do this. He started moving forward like he was going to step into my house and I put up my arm and said absolutely not. He argued with me for a solid five minutes when I said my son has puked and has blowouts in that bassinet and there are stains on the side fabric that won't come out. Why would you want that? He let out a sigh and said he'd be back. It was very bizarre. Next thing I know, I'm getting another message calling me ugly for ruining her bassinet and that they freak taking legal action. I'm not an idiot, so I just sat back and laughed and never heard a peep from any lawyers after blocking her. The only thing that came afterwards was her mother messaging me telling me what an ungrateful entitled piece of scum I was for keeping something that wasn't mine and demanding payment for it and they couldn't wait to sue me for thousands in emotional and property damage. Hey everyone, thanks for the replies. Just a little info. I definitely see now that hindsight is 2020. Some of you brought up the safety concern of opening the door to someone banging like that, and you're absolutely correct, and especially since I had a newborn. Thinking back, I can't believe I opened the door. Another thing, yes, I should have called the police and gotten his chain of command involved, but honestly, I was so sleep deprived and had severe postpartum depression, I just didn't have the energy or willpower to do so. If you've suffered with PPD, you might or might not relate. It can be hard to summon the power to even get out of bed. When I returned from leave, I did mention a situation to my direct supervisor, and he just said, wow, that's crazy, and wished that would have happened at my house, and said, would have caught bullets, etc., etc. So that's as far as that went. 
Again, I was suffering and had zero energy to deal with it and had the mentality that that guy would probably get kicked out for something else since he's dumb enough to do this for his crazy wife. The whole situation is ridiculous. I mean, how are you going to do that to a new mother knowing that she is going through a lot of stuff and now you're going to make her deal with this? And the OP even said that this happened in Florida. Man, I don't know what the hell is going on in Florida. There's always some crazy people there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Thank you for watching.